Hey guys, I wanted to do a video on my little binder I have here. It is for cash envelopes and sinking funds. And I've also did a 2020 money savings challenge. And so I want to do another 2021 money savings challenge. So this year I want to be a little bit better with my money and um, how much I'm spending couponing how much I'm saving, what's it for, um, and also we do the save all your change in a bucket and cash it in. Um, we usually do that every like six months-ish. So I just took all of our money um, from last year to the bank and You'll actually be surprised, especially when you coupon, how much money you can save up in change. Um, a lot of my friends just use, like, debit cards and stuff. But I use mostly cash except for paying bills. So we get a lot of change. My husband saves up all this change for me. And I take all my couponing change and put it in this bucket usually. And I have a clip that I showed that this bucket was, like least to here it was like 17 pounds I'm gonna add it maybe after this video but I weighed it on the scale and we took it in and it was $224 for like six months of saving change so it was pretty crazy oh my phone is at 15% okay so we're using ring light only now so hopefully that's enough light um so I got this little binder off of Amazon it was like ten dollars but you could probably make this yourself if you wanted it's full of these little envelopes and each envelope has a little paper where you write how much is in there you can put the date category at the top description not exactly sure what to use description for but then you put balance and and if you're adding money or taking out money and then balance that out and on the back you can kind of just put maybe how much you're putting in a month or just the category again i don't know i'm new to this so if you have suggestions on how to do it better you guys still i haven't watched enough videos yet to know exactly but um we have a disney vacation one we like to take a disney trip every year we were actually going to go to disney world in december but that trip was planned before covid hit so that did not happen so this is all of our savings from 2020 and you can see i put it in there on the 16th at 500 and $24. Um, so the $224 was from the change, and the $300 was from this bucket. I didn't get to finish the whole challenge, or else it would have been $667. But you can see I kind of did a little bit, try to do like bigger numbers when I could. Um, this is the 365 day penny challenge, but it makes it like, it breaks it down easier for you. So I have that challenge right here, not broken up, but you can see that it was like 28 cents for week one, which is like day one is one penny, day two is two pennies, day three is three pennies. They just kind of made it weekly instead of daily. And... And I just crossed them off as they went. I didn't get to do all of those. So this year I'm actually going to start it. And I made myself a little paper. Because I get paid weekly. I didn't want to start. Okay. As you can see like. It's the cheapest. And then it gets higher and higher. And then by the time you're done. You're paying like. $23 a week. Or almost $50 every two weeks and so I took because I get paid every two weeks I took the last number and the first number 
and I put them together so that I would even out, but I rounded them up to the nearest dollar. So that is how I got this. And I basically just made it 26 um, every two weeks and $30 the first time. And that will give me $706 instead of this $667.95. So it's a little bit more because I rounded it up. So I'm going to do that money savings challenge. Maybe in this first envelope. Away from my other. But this one is also going to be for vacation, I think. So I might add it to this eventually, but for now it's going to be there. And the other ones I found that are kind of cool that you might look into are the $1 a week challenge, which after you get to the last week, it'll give you $1,378 at the end of the year. So that's a good one to maybe do. I also saw this one. It's kind of beat up because I wanted to do this last year, but I didn't. Um, and it's kind of random numbers, but it's also weekly. And that is my nephew making a lot of noise, if you can hear that in the background. I'm not sure. Um, that's funny. Anyway, it will leave you with $1,378 saved, but you can see that it's like random, like 20, 30, 40... I think the highest is 40 in a week. And then at the very end, it's 8. Why? I don't know. But this one is from morningmotivatedmom.com. So, anyway, I'm going to save up pennies and quarters again in that one. And then save up money in these. So, those are my money savings challenges. I use them for um, vacations. So, as you can see, there's actually money in here. Um, I want to do a toy drive. I don't know if I've shared that with you guys. But I want to do a toy drive at the end of the year and donate as many toys. My goal is a $1,000 um, retail value of toys. So, that might not be how much I actually pay. Oops. Cat is jumping off the bed and she's going to pull my phone for three months. Okay, here we go again. So, the toy drive. I want to donate at least $1,000 worth of toys. Um, a lot of them will be like sales, discounts, clearances. So it probably won't be $1,000 that I actually use, but we will see. My goal is $1,000 retail. So I put $10 in the toy drive for that. If I find deals, I can just pull it out from here and save that toy. If not, I can wait until, like, Black Friday sales or uh, something like that. Closer to Christmas sales. Because usually the really good sales only happen in January for clearance. And in July at Target, they usually have a toy sale. And then around Christmas time. So I have $5 in there. Well, $10. There's two fives in there. And my next one is Christmas, so I'm putting $20 in there. Um, I haven't decided if it's going to be a month or every paycheck, but save up a little bit for Christmas so we aren't using all of our money at Christmas to afford Christmas. Um, I wanted to also do some Christmas clearance after Christmas sales. I never save up enough money for those, and I really like to go out and buy stuff right after Christmas so saving a little bit of money there and I also have couponing money um, I actually have some in my purse too but this is what I want to save for things that I want slash couponing if I find a really good deal so I'm just saving a little extra there it's 61 that's just what I had in my wallet. And I put one in here for stockpile sales. Um, so we can just have some extra money when I actually do have a sale. I only do them like twice a year, but just put one in there for that. That doesn't have anything in it yet. Though. And I also wanted to do the debt snowball. I didn't do anything for that category yet, though. Um, I really just have to pay off some credit cards and 
that's about it. And then the last one I have is a house down payment. So I was thinking about doing like a hundred a month for that, maybe more, depending on if I have like a side hustle that month or pick up a second job or something. Then we can add more to that one. And I think that's it for those. I have a couple more that I can do. So if you have any suggestions and let me know what you guys are doing to save this year. And if you like these videos, I can continue to make them and share how much I'm putting in to mine and what I'm doing with it. And yeah, any questions, put them below or if you have any suggestions because I'm new to this. And I will see you guys later. Bye guys.